much. Look, is Thrice the Branded Cat Branded? Ugh, Florida Carl Salesman. Carl. Car. Fluff. Oh god. Oh god, no. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm just gonna have to vacuum everything. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with a another unboxing video. I have a total of four packages, so without further ado, let us get started. First package is from Penguin Random House Canada. Which is in Toronto, which is where I live. So, what up, Penguin Random House? Oh, it's the gross packaging. The book is Thrice the Brinded Cat Hath Mewed, and this is by Alan Bradley. This it says that it is hailed as a combination of Eloise and Sherlock Holmes by the Boston Globe. Flavia De Luce returns in a new mystery novel from award-winning and New York Times bestselling author Alan Bradley. I don't know if it's actually able to be read as a standalone, so once I find that out, I'll let you guys know, because this is actually the eighth book in the Flavia De Luce series. So, I honestly have no idea, but we'll see. We'll see. The next package is kind of funny. My, my mom thought it was her phone case, so she opened it. Turns out it was actually a book for me, and so she um, taped it. She taped it up, and uh, this is the result. So it's going to be hard to get into, but, you know, we can try. Slowly, but surely. Well, there's a little note, and it says, Hi Jan, hope you enjoy Rigor Morty. For more fun, check us out at www.rigamorty.com. That's Dick Bouvier. The book is Rigor Morty, Death by Sex Puppet, and this is by Dick and December Bouvier. And the back of the book makes it sound really funny. It says, When a gorgeous young woman finds herself inexplicably trapped under a dead 400-pound Florida car salesman, her terrifying struggle to survive leads to an absurdly creepy, laugh-out-loud funny world of witches' reusable coffins liver meringue, pie-loving Nazis, and parla-military-style Catholic fundraisers. So, um, I feel like it's gonna be an interesting book. I, uh, I'm excited to see where it leads, because it's a lot of randomness in one, so we'll see what I think of it if I read it. The next package I'm kind of scared to open, because my mom already started to open it, and it's the stupid fluffy packaging again, and I don't want to get it all over my room. It's from New York, so that's exciting. I want to go to New York so badly, but probably will never go there. But your girl can dream, you know? Oh, the fluff is everywhere. We failed. We tried and we failed. How do you open this without getting it everywhere? Like, this should, should not be this hard, but it is. The book is A Carousel of Desire by Eric Emanuel Schmidt. And this is what the cover's going to look like. It's a proof version of it, so, you know, comes out September 2016. But it's just a boring cover because it's an arc, so I'm sorry. This book follows a variety of characters, all with different sexualities, and it's kind of just the story about how they all intertwine. So it's going to be interesting. It says something about a girl who makes love with her parrot, so we'll see how this book turns out. I'm kind of scared of it, but kind of intrigued at the same time. The book is translated from French, and last time I read a French translated book, it was Billy by Anna Gavalda. We all know how much I hate that book, so I'm kind of scared of this book, but we'll see how it goes. I'll let you guys know once I read it. The final book is from the UK. So, that's exciting because I love the UK. I would also like to go to the UK, but your girl has no money, so realistically that's not going to happen. The book is Peter Nimble and His Fantastic Eyes by Jonathan Oxier, and I actually won this off of a Twitter giveaway. This is a middle grade book, and it is about a boy named Peter Nimble, and he is a blind orphan who was raised to be a thief. Sounds like it'll be super cute. I'm excited to read it, and also the cover is so pretty, so I'm excited. Alright guys, so that was my little unboxing video. I hope to see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah. Oh, it's pretty. Oh.